Hey, um, hi. Sorry, I didn't realize you guys would be here. Uh, one moment. So I brought this. I think it's important that you hear it. If anyone finds this, I was not here to do a YouTube video. I'm only here because Joey Jeremiah said Kelp Pill would be here with her merch. My only intention is to buy merch. Nothing nefarious or illegal. You believe me, right? Like, that sounds legitimate? Hey everyone, first we're going to take a look at John France, just a couple clips, give you a refresher on who this guy is, or at least who he was, then we're going to look at the court records and some other references online to show you what he's up to these days. Hey, come out here for a second. Why don't you come on in and uh, have a seat real quick. Okay. Take your hands out of your pockets for me. Please go ahead and come on in and have a seat on the stool. And how old are you? I'm 33. 33. Yeah. And what were you doing coming over here to meet a 14 year old girl before i left i was sitting there thinking to myself you know this is not the right thing to do at 8 p.m tonight i'm meeting a person whom i met online who claims to be a 14 year old girl i have no intention of supplying this person with alcohol having sex or doing any other improper unlawful conduct with this person if she really is who she says she is, my intention is to befriend her and try to mentor her. Her parents should be should also be aware of her behavior and possibly get her counseling. I just really wonder why you'd even come over here in the first place if you were so concerned. Why not just blow it off? Why did you write a letter and leave in your truck? Because to try to cover yourself. I didn't. Because know. you knew you messed up. You knew why you were going there, and you wanted to help yourself out if you got caught. Well, we refer to it at the office as an alibi letter. A lot of premeditation there in my book. Okay, so here we are on Dark County Municipal Court, and we are going to do a record search. The great thing with Dark County is you get a lot of records, and it's completely free, unlike something like Los Angeles, for instance. Okay, so this is a fairly unique name, so let's just put in France and John. I think that should be good enough, and we'll hit search. Okay, so we have multiple listings here. I guess it's not as unique as I thought. John J. France, John M. France, S. and W. Given the fact that this is 2006, I think this bottom one here is probably the correct case. All right, John W. France, and let's see here. We have the criminal complaint, prosecuting attorney's request for a warrant. Let's check out the criminal complaint. All right, so we have attempted unlawful sexual contact with a minor. So this is definitely the correct guy. So John W. France says age less than 16. I think in the clips we saw it said 14 years old. Let's see if there's any other interesting documents here. Now, this is interesting, and I'll cover up some of the information here, but it looks like Stanley France posted the bond. And Stanley France out of Covington, Ohio, there's a phone number here which I'll, and an address and I'll blur that out, but it looks like Stanley is the one that actually posted the bond for John France. All right, so it looks like there's a plea agreement. So it looks like he got 30 days Dark County Jail with credit of three days previously served. I'm not gonna read everything here. There's stuff about paying different costs. It looks like he had to successfully complete a sex offender risk reduction and education program. No use of pornographic or obscene materials. Install accountability and reporting software. Uh, no alcohol or drug use, illegal drug use. 40 hours community service. Maintain employment with proof of earnings. Submit DNA sampling as required by law. Uh, he can't get in trouble again with anything it looks like. And it just goes on. So let's see if there's anything else here. Okay, and the final order here, November 12th, 2009, shows that he completed everything he was supposed to complete and he adhered to the community control and such. And that's that. So let's jump on into the investigation. Okay, so here we are on True People Search. I did a search for John W. France, found the correct person based on the name and date of birth. We have John Wesley France, age 49, date of birth, July 1972. We have a current address in Pleasant Hill, Ohio, and several different phone numbers. There were some addresses there as well, and one of the addresses matched the Dark County records, so I know I have the right person. We also have Stanley France under relatives, and Stanley was the one that signed his bond. Okay, so here we are at 
at the Miami County, Ohio case search. So we're going to do a probate search on John France and see what we can find. So I'm on case look right now and we have John France and this is going to search for any civil, estate, guardianship, marriage, miscellaneous, trusteeship cases. I've never actually used this search so I have no idea what it's going to bring up or if it's going to cost any money. Okay so there are five different results here. At the very bottom we have John Wesley France and let's click on that. Okay so this is definitely him. We have John Wesley France, date of birth 72372. We have an address in Pleasant Hill, Ohio. Birthplace is Troy, Ohio. Occupation is engineer. Oh, okay, so now we know who Stanley is because it says parent Stanley Lynn France and the other parent is Myrna Ann Garber. So according to this, Stanley is his father. Previous marriages, zero. Divorced, no. Widowed, no. Now there's information on his spouse, but I don't think we really need to go there, so I'm going to go ahead and blur that out. I will say that the spouse looks to be maybe six years younger than him, and the occupation is cosmetologist, but that's all I'm going to say there. Okay, so it looks like the marriage date was May 6th, 2015. Okay, so here we are on Google. I'm going to go ahead and do a search on him. I'll put his name in quotes, John France and Ohio outside of the quotes, as well as the keyword engineer. All right, the very first result that comes up is his employment, or it looks like it's his employment. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so there he is. I found his profile with his employment. I'm not going to show his employer. I know you could just repeat my steps and very easily find it, but I would just ask that if you decide to do that, you don't engage in any harassment on him or his employment. Just keep in mind that he seems to have stayed out of trouble and his employer certainly hasn't done anything wrong. So again, I would just ask that you don't engage in any harassment to him or his employer. Now, the profile here says John France, senior mechanical designer, years in the industry, 32, specializations, innovation, thoroughness, excellent in all phases of the design process. It says, fun fact, I can raise my left eyebrow, but not my right. Okay, this appears to be John France's Facebook right here. We have facebook.com forward slash John W. France in the URL. So given the pictures and given the URL, I'm pretty sure that's him. Now, I also checked out his likes and in his likes is the woman that he married in 2015. I'm not going to reveal her identity, but I did go ahead and check out her profile. Okay, so I looked through her Facebook and I found her Instagram and there's a lot of pictures of her and there's a lot of pictures of their kids and obviously I'm not going to show that. I'm going to blur out as much as I can here, but this is an image of John Framp and this image was actually March 16th, 2022, so pretty recent, about uh, three months ago from the date of this video. So let's see if there's any other images of him. Okay, so this is another one right here. Again, I'm gonna blur her face out and the date of this was January 2nd, 2022. Uh, she's talking to someone and says, your brother is what makes life extra fun. She also says rolling into 2022, so maybe it's I mean, it looks like they're, I don't know where they are, but there's some arcade games and tables and such, so maybe a roller palace or something like that. I checked out John Francis, who I suppose is his sister, and uh, that profile is private. Oh, actually it says at the top, 36 Gate Club, so that's where they were skating. Okay, so here's another image right here. There's some sunflowers in the background. This was taken August, or at least uploaded, August 1st, 2021. So, you know, why don't we end the video right there? It appears that they are doing good. He's married now, been married since 2015. I can't find anything online to show that he's gotten into further trouble. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe. I got a lot more content coming out soon. I wish everyone a fantastic day and just remember to verify everything.